Hey guys, it's Ryder here with my Arrow Season 4 Episode 23 Finale Review. Um, and I gotta be honest, I really have to be honest here, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Um, I, I really wanted to be excited about this episode, I really wanted, you don't even understand how much I wanted, I really wanted to love this episode, I wanted it to get me ready for season 5, because I think it's very, very safe to say, like, almost too safe to say, that this has been such a lackluster, and might I add, boring season of Arrow. And I want to also put this out there before I kind of get into my breakdown. I do want to address this. Many people, many YouTubers I know, many YouTubers that I watch, uh, people on Twitter, um, social media, friends of mine, lots of people are saying that, hey, I'm pretty much done with Arrow. Not me. I'm not saying that. I'm still going to continue to do videos for it because uh, Arrow has kind of got me invested in everything. Um, and it was one of my favorite shows. It's still, I, I do consider it one of my favorite shows, even though 3 and 4 haven't been very good. But I just want to say that this season finale was so lackluster and average and mediocre that people are like, hey, I'm done wasting my hours watching Arrow. And that's kind of where I want to kick everything off. That's the way I want to... I, that's the tone I want to set for this review. And I, I think it needs to be said that um, it, it's just been a very disappointing season. And uh, I do, I, I do want to say this. I think this was a disappointing finale. Uh, so let me just break it down. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, I know that was a bit of a somber tone, but... That's, that's the way you guys got to kind of approach this, because there's nothing that I need to be like, oh my god, Justice Society, or oh my god, Jay Garrick, or oh my god, Black Flash Zoom, you know, there's nothing like that in this episode, which is really upsetting. So let's talk about that. The episode pretty much picks up right after last week, and uh, we know Damien Dark, he's doing some big thing, he's trying to launch all this nuclear attacks on Star City, and then of course, you know, because there are multiple, many, many thousands and all that nuclear attacks, it's all going to decimate the world, the world will be nothing, everybody is going to die. And while, you know, while I did just say what I said uh, just, a mo just a moment ago, you know, about how this was somewhat of a disappointing finale, it did have its moments, and I'll give it that. And I think every bad episode of television or lackluster episode of television definitely has its moments. Every, like, bad movie has its moments. Uh, just quick analogy here. Fantastic Four from 2015, which was voted one of the worst films of 2015, and so many people hated it. I didn't hate it, didn't love it either. Um, but it, it, while it was overall a bad movie, it did have its moments. It, they were small moments, but they were there. Same thing goes with this episode of Arrow. And we'll talk about the small moments in just a second, but let me just finish breaking down everything. Damien Dark's pretty much depressed. His daughter's like, oh, no, mommy, and all that. He's like, we'll be with mommy soon. And, you know, Team Arrow in itself, they're trying to figure out what the hell, you know, we're going to do. Uh, you know, there's there's been some attacks. Uh, of course, Damien Dark, like, he he had, he, he broke, kind of broke into uh, Felicity's apartment house, and, um, you know, it was almost going to kill Felicity's mother, uh, Curtis Holt, he got really injured, all of that, so that's kind of brief, nothing really there, um, I think Mr. Terrific was absolutely amazing in this episode, and, uh, he really played off the theme of this episode, which was hope, um, you know, I, I don't exactly love it when shows emphasize, like, the, a special word like love, or hope, or friendship throughout the whole thing. I think a great example of a show that does that is Supergirl. Supergirl used the word hope maybe every two words, right? It was like, I'm so hopeful that we get to hope about hoping, and I love you, because I hope. Like, that was Supergirl dialogue, you know? So, stuff like that. There was, there was a few episodes of Supergirl that were like, Every two words, were, it was hope, you know. Uh, Arrow kind of did that throughout this. You know, they really emphasized the word hope, having hope, having all of that in this episode. Uh, but Curtis Holt kind of came in. Mr. Terrific, he really tied it all together. I think he's going to be a great character in Season 5. And I'm very excited that 
you know, we're getting him. Unfortunately, he didn't become Mr. Terrific this season, which is, you know, unfortunate, but that only leads you to believe he really will become Mr. Terrific next season. So I am, and he's also going to be a series regular, which I am very excited about. Uh, with Felicity, she's kind of just doing what Felicity normally does or normally did. And she's kind of just, you know, behind the computer screens trying to figure everything out. She has this moment with Brother Eye and, uh, you know, her boyfriend or whatever who, from the flashbacks. And, uh, you know, he, he dies and all of this. And, you know, you can kind of tell by the way I'm reviewing this. It was all over the place. They, it, it, like I said, it had its moments. They were really trying to honor Laurel. Everybody's kind of going in different directions. You know, Oliver, he's trying to find this hope within himself, and he's trying to find this hope within the city. Uh, the way he actually defeats Damien Dark is pretty cool. I'll, I'll give it that, and that was one of those great moments. Oliver Queen, he comes out in the daytime, and while everybody's rioting in the streets because, you know, of course, everyone knows these nuclear attacks are coming, he gets on the top of a car and is like, Guys, we gotta be strong! We have gone through everything. We've gone through the siege and the undertaking and the breakout and, and whatever. Well, what, what, what was it called last season? The virus or I don't remember. Jesus. But, you know, they have gone through a ton. Dark Archer, Deathstroke, Ra's al Ghul, right? And, you know, now there's a bunch of nuclear attacks coming from Damien Dark. Yeah, uh, they can. They're, Oliver's basically saying, "Hey, we can do this. We can, we can unite and have hope." Um, and then he kind of comes back at the end in, in in nighttime as the Green Arrow has this pretty intense battle with Damien Dark. Damien Dark, you know, he's like, "I'm a League of Assassin." Oh, I'm like, "Oh yeah, I forgot about that, huh?" Um, so Damien Dark uses his League of Assassin power, but. Uh, because, you know, his magic isn't working, because Oliver's being backed by all of Star City, he's getting all of their hope in him. Like, you know, the way, remember a few episodes ago when Oliver kind of discovered that magic within himself, and the way that that magic worked within himself was, it was powered by Felicity's hope in him. So, the whole city hoped within, uh, uh the Green Arrow, and that's how Oliver was able to counteract Damien Dark's massive darkness power. Uh, Felicity and Curtis Holt are able to misdirect uh, the nuclear missiles, so that's all good. That's not, you know, whatever. And Damien Dark um, seemed to be dead, or really hurt. But he was, he, nah, he was dead. So, there you go. That's your Arrow Season 4 finale, and the way the episode ends. Team Arrow pretty much goes their separate ways, as usual. That's kind of what always happens in the Arrow finales. Everybody's like, hey, I'm going my separate ways. And they're like, oh, I'm right. You know, we're never going to see you again. But hey, next season, we'll, we'll, you're back. But this time, I'm not, gonna be, I'm not even kidding here. It really seems permanent. Uh, Thea's like, I, this, this version of myself of Speedy, that's not who I really am. You know, and she's, she's like, I feel like as, as I am Speedy, I am just really becoming more of Malcolm's daughter. And I don't want to be Malcolm's daughter. I want to be Thea Queen. So I really actually respect Thea. I really liked uh, her character towards the second half of the season. The whole bloodlust thing didn't really sit well with me, but other than that, uh, I thought she was an interesting character. And I think she, for the most part, you know, for what they could do, trying to fill Roy's place, I think they did a good job in that way. Uh, Diggle, uh, he is going. He's also parting in separate ways because... Well, he feels this burden that he killed Andy, and he can't really take killing other people, and he, he just, it's all going to be a reminder, so he's taking some time for whoever knows how long. And we actually find out that he's going, he's re-enlisted uh, back into the military. So this seems permanent with Diggle, and you have to wonder if him going into the military is going to kind of move into anything else. Um, uh, it seems like he's going, still going to be a, a main character next season, a series regular. Um, but, you know, he's moving out of Team Arrow. Um, you have Quentin Lance, and he's going to some other city. He's not going to be a cop anymore. And he's going with Donna Smoke. And they're going to live somewhere else and start maybe a, a f more of a fresh life in some other city. Okay, so, you know, that's kind of him exiting and kind of Laurel exiting as well. Like the whole Lance family is kind of really exiting now. Um, and then you have Felicity. 
And uh, Felicity comes at the end of the episode with Oliver. And uh, Oliver's like, huh, you're not leaving too? And she's like, not a chance. And you feel like she's talking directly to you, Felicity hater. She was talking directly to me. And I really, seriously, I drop kick Felicity in almost every review. So I, I, like, I pick her up and I drop kick her off a bridge like Jack Black in Anchorman, okay? That's what I do to the Felicity character. And then she feels that, oh, oh, she, she's got all this nerve and she gets in the television and she's talking to me. She's like, not a chance. I'm not going anywhere, son of a bitch. Oh, no, Felicity. What are you doing? I, I was so mad by this because... Truly, they could have had Felicity go off with her mom, or they could have had her go off to be a hacker at some other place, but no. She's like, I'm staying right here. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, people like my character. I, I, I mean, you know what? I can't get into that. I can't, because it really uh, churns me. It really churns me so much. Um, but the cool thing about this, this finale towards the end is Oliver actually becomes mayor, which is something that was teased towards the mid-season finale. We all thought it was going to happen. He didn't become mayor. Ruve Adams did, of course. Ruve Adams died. And the whole Damien Dark con uh, conspiracy. Uh, Oliver's mayor now. They can do some cool things with this. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's going to be interesting. Uh, Oliver is a character that was, you know, seven years ago or whatever. Not seven years ago. Um, let's see, nine years ago, he was a... He was a party boy, right? And people couldn't take him seriously. Now he's going to be mayor. Well, we'll see where that goes. Uh, I, I really am wondering about that. Uh, I think it's going to be an interesting arc for the character. I think they need to make some major changes to the season five. Um, and I'm going to give my overall thoughts on the season right now. I'm not going to say it was terrible because it wasn't terrible. It, it was bad, though. It wasn't a good season. Probably the worst season we've seen out of all four which is sad because I had so high hopes. I was like, they're going to come back from season three. Uh, and I, I remember enjoying season three even more, truly. I don't know. I really had a bad day though today because I was just really, I was really upset by what we saw. I was expecting something big. And, you know, I think about Legends of Tomorrow and I think about Flash and I, I think about like, I'm so excited for those shows. And I, Really, I've taken... Arrow made me love DC Comics even more than I already did. Doesn't that say something? And then they come here and they think that, okay, well, we've got Legend of Tomorrow and we've got Flash, so we're not going to really give a shit about Arrow? I mean, no. No thanks. This whole magic thing, they were trying to build up to something cool with Constantine. I didn't really... I'm not going to even talk about the flashbacks in this episode. They didn't do anything for me. I really, I haven't talked about the flashbacks all season. You know, I'm not going to give this this episode a number. I'm not going to give it a rating. I'm not really none of that. Because it doesn't deserve that right now, for me at least. Because I don't want to justify this. You know, I, I all I'm saying here is that people are going to be done with the show. I know people who are done with the show. A ton of people who are done with the show now. Um, but if you can come, if you can come back, create this really convincing, really intricate, well-crafted Green Arrow story for television in season five, then what I'm gonna say is, then yeah, it, it'll be good. It, it'll be better. Um, and we know Stephen Amell is really upset, also by the fact that they really used utilized magic and they were using Arrow to set up all these other shows. Um, and he, he's saying that season five is going back to the basics of season one and season two. And we'll see if that's a true statement. But there's no other good villains they could really use uh, that are Green Arrow villains. They've used Constantine Draken. Uh, they've, they've used uh, other characters like um, uh, Komodo. And they've used them as one-off villains. There's nothing they can do. I'm hoping they go with some Batman villains, actually, uh, specifically Black Mask. I'm going to be doing a whole Arrow Season 5 predictions film or <laughs> a video very soon, not a film. Um, and it's going to be very interesting because... 
I do think they're going to have to pull from Batman to make this great. So let me know your thoughts on all of this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this was such a somber review, but it needed to be said. I'm Ryder, signing off from Toys with Attitude, and thank you so much for watching my Arrow reviews this season. I will be back for Season 5, so don't, don't be fooled. I'm still going to be doing Arrow-related videos over the summer as well, but I'm, I'm not as excited for Arrow Season 5 as I want it to be. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm Ryder. Center from Toys of Attitude and keep writing, guys. Bye.